Eyes Open Network. Today is March 8th, 2016. Uh, it's Tuesday, and uh, apparently Iran has decided that testing missiles is something they wanted to do. Um, as a show and a display of their, quote, deterrent power. Um, and this directly defies the U.S. sanctions imposed earlier this year aimed to disrupting their missile program. So, um, it was announced that the short, medium, and long-range precision-guided missiles were fired from several sites to show the country's, quote, all-out readiness to confront threats against territorial in, its in territorial integrity. So, uh, some of the uh, pictures that were released, uh, the show launches... Uh, um, that had ranges from 300 kilometers, 500 kilometers, uh, 800 kilometers, and 2,000 kilometers. Uh, so that's a, a that's a lot of testing they did, considering their the sanctions. Um, the U.S. had hit Iran with these fresh sanctions uh, in January, uh, 24 hours after the sanctions related to to Tehran's nuclear activities had been lifted under the landmark deal with the world powers. So. Um, these latest tests during the exercise named the power of Valiat, which is a reference to their religious doctrine of the Islamic Republic's leadership, uh, were undertaken by revolutionary guards at its aerospace wing. The guards' official media service carried a statement confirming the tests, which come less than two weeks after elections in Iran delivered gains to politicians aligned with Hassan Rouhani, the, the country's moderate president. <clears throat> Ballistic missile tests have been uh, seen as means for Iran's military to demonstrate that nuclear deal will have no impact on its plans, which says are domestic defense only. So they wanted to, they're basically just letting the, well, I'm going to guess Israel at this point. Uh, Israel hasn't responded yet uh, to these tests, but um, th this was also stated by their uh, uh, guards' top commanders. The, quote, our main enemy is the Americans who mutter about plans have activated new missile sanctions against the Islamic Republic of Iran and are seeking to weaken the country's missile capability. They go on to say, the guards and other armed forces are defenders of the revolution and the country will not pay a toll to anyone and will stand against their excessive demands. So, there you have it. Iran has just wanted to let uh, the U.S. know that their sanctions are relatively meaningless to them. They, uh, the previous... Uh, in October of last year, they conducted a couple of uh, ballistic missile tests that angered uh, DC. Um, then there was also that that was also followed by this is all happened in October of last year, by the way. This also also was followed by um, th this amazing footage of underground missile storage bunkers in Iran. So it's not that this is uh, this isn't new news. Um, which is often made in some of the comments below the videos that, well, this is nothing new. Well, you're right. A lot of times of what, what we are reporting here at the Eyes Open Network is not something new that we've discovered that no one else has ever heard of. No, but there are a lot of people out there who have no idea any of this is happening. If you have a conversation with somebody that you don't normally in your regular circle and you step outside that maybe come out of your basement or something you'll find out that there are far too many people that have no clue that if you start talking to them about iran and their missile testing and their launches and their underground bunkers that are impressive they'll be like oh really that's happening this is the reason why alternative media like eyes open network and many 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 others out there are an important part of the landscape of information being uh, given and put out there on the internet for people to find. So if you find yourself here and you know all this information already, then instead of putting comments below that you that this is old news and that that it's just me reporting on something that's already been reported, hey, guess what? 
It's no shocker to me. I know. How do you think I found it? I'm not in Iran checking out their missile launches. No, I found the information by searching the internet. But here's what I'm trying to accomplish, is getting the information, packaging it up, and letting other people learn about it. So you have a responsibility that if you think that this is news, and that it's something that people should be aware of, to spread it. Whether you spread uh, spread the information about our channel, some other alternative media channel, uh, letting people know that their mainstream media is not there to uh, protect them, that then you, you, you should do that. Bottom line is, Iran is a missile testing, which flies in the face of the sanctions, whether you agree with the sanctions or not, but the sanctions that the U.S. and the world leaders have opposed on Iran. And they do it under the uh, belief that they're letting people know that they can defend themselves if you decide to uh, try to um, take over some of their territory or uh, attack or uh, just be oppressive. That's all they're saying. And it's important to notice because that's it's very real. So I hope that I have given you some information that you can use to help spread the word that this stuff is actually happening in the world and not have provided you information that you already know. Well, I know you already know it. The idea is to get more and more people coming to the Eyes Open Network to find out information that they don't know. And when they come across something they do know, they can and they think that it's important for others to know that they spread that word. Comment, share, like, do whatever you got to do. Just make sure people are being informed and aware and not just mindless zombies. Eyes Open Network.